clock is fixed. Fourth quarter set to begin in Boston as the Nets have pummeled the Boston Celtics. Paul Pierce struggling. He's been complaining to officials and he just heard it pretty good from his teammate Antoine Walker in the huddle the last time. Walker let the team have it and also let Pierce have it. Told him to stop whining, stop worrying about officials and no calls. And he said to the team, hey, the Nets are laughing at us right now. I think that was the gist of the message. They're disrespecting us right now. We can't back down. We got to play. It doesn't matter whether we win this game or not. We got to go back at the Nets right now. Jefferson, the latest to guard Pierce. Nice quick move. Of course, Pierce is a big-time fourth-quarter player, but if the Celtics put themselves in too big a hole to make it matter. Tony Petit was limping as he ran up the floor, and they forced a turnover. Not too big a hole if the Nets turn the ball over. Walker against Van Horn goes right at him, left-handed. And just like that, it's cut to 17. This is the closest they've been in the second half. This is what I thought I'd see in the beginning of the third quarter, Mike. Defense! 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 But they still have a long uphill climb. Defense! Have an entire quarter to do it. Jefferson, nice reverse move, doesn't finish, and Pierce the rebound. And a foul called on Richard Jefferson. Not a smart play, and Jefferson has picked up his fifth. Well, the two superstars, you saw them talking, at the timeout between the quarters, Paul Pierce responds right away. Antoine Walker says, I'm just not talking. I'll show you what I mean. He also goes right to the basket. Tony Petit, short. I don't think that's the shot Jimmy O'Brien wanted. He took the words right out of my mouth. Mike, I can't stress enough, it's not just this afternoon. Is the game over? No way. But it's more important for the Celtics in this series to step up and respond right now. Pierce draws the foul, and one! Somehow held on, and he's got a chance for the three-point play. The Celtics have cut it to 15. Paul Pierce again puts the ball on the floor. That's a careless foul right there. If you're not going to foul him hard, let him shoot a layup. Don't give him three points. And a 14-point deficit now for the Boston Celtics and the crowd. Very much back into it as Tony Delk got a little too aggressive that time. And Delk picks up the personal. That's his first. We talked about the need for poise from the Celtics early on when they fell behind. Right now, the New Jersey Nets cannot fall back on their heels. They've got to execute aggressively on the offensive end. Lucius Harris tries to draw the foul. Oh, they wave it off. The ball above the cylinder. Offensive interference. If any of the ball is above the cylinder, you can't touch it. That's a great play from Jefferson, but it looks like it should have been negated. It's a big-time play from Richard Jefferson. You'd love to see that. Pierce gets past Jefferson again and puts it in. No, no New Jersey net help defense. That's four plays. The Celtics have taken it to the rim. A 9-0 run in two minutes. Standing ovation at the Fleet Center. Nets need a timeout. Paul Pierce puts the ball on the floor. But it's less what they're doing on the floor. It's what went on between the quarters. The Celtics are responding to Antoine Walker's challenge. 